We've seen that we can inherit scope from root to parent to child. We've seen that we can bind variables from parent to child scopes, but not the other way around. Trying to set values on parent scoped variables from child scopes results in a copy of the variable being created on the child scope. The reason for this isn't based in Angular, but based in the JavaScript concept of prototypal inheritance, which Angular uses. It's not needed for the rest of the course, but I would recommend you head on over to the AngularJS GitHub repo, go to the wiki section, and click on Understanding Scopes. It goes into more depth than you need at this stage, but reading it is recommended, especially if you're going for an interview or just want to level up your Angular knowledge. But going back into our code, there is a solution to being able to bind from the child scope to the parent, and that's via what's called the dot notation. So instead of binding to just scalar values on the scope, the solution is to bind to properties of objects. Let me show you. So going back into our code, the only change I'm going to make is instead of binding to name, I'm just going to bind to data.name. And now let's run this. And let's bring up the ng inspector. So like before, the root scope, the parent control, and the child controller are empty. We don't have any scope variables assigned to them. But now, when I add something to the root scope, you can see that instead of binding to just a scalar value, we've in fact created an object called data with a property called name. And now parent and child are still binding to that object and that property. But the difference is now, if we try and change something in the parent controller, you can see that we're not creating copies of the data object on the parent controller. That's how prototypal inheritance works. If you're looking to set a value on an object on a parent scope from a child scope, you can. And the same goes for even our child controller. So with the dot notation and specifically binding to properties of objects or even index elements of arrays, inheritance works as you would expect and binding flows two ways. However, we can still shadow parent scope variables if the child scope has the same variable. Let me show you. Let's bring up the inspector. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually add it on the child controller. So you can see because the child controller, when it tried to bind the data, it didn't find it in the parent or the root scope, so it added it to itself. And if we do the same from the parent, you can see that multiple copies of the data have been added to every single scope in the chain. Through shadowing of the inherited scope variables, data binding across the inheritance chain isn't working. 